All right. It's time to get back out there. I'm ready. I'm more upset that this guy clearly failed his five dates. But if it's anything like the way I'm about to play, it makes sense. Because let me just reiterate. Despite the fact that I'm going to be using TikTok dating advice, please don't use that in real life. It's terrible. It will generally end up making you unhappy. Here's, here's my best advice for you. Here's the Jessica, before we do this, here's my Jessica Cox dating advice. Ready for this? Don't bring your baggage. Don't put your shit on someone else. And more importantly, go into all relationships, be it friend or romantic, with a sizable amount of trust and love and good vibes put out into the world. And if they in some way hurt or betray you, that's on them. That's on them. They're a bad person. Move on. There will be someone else. Don't let past shit color your future endeavors. Don't be a piece of shit to people. Treat people with respect. Uh, put love out in the world. Don't be a, a dumbass. There you go. That's my advice. There you go. It's simple. It's really simple. Be yourself. And if the person that you're on a date with isn't right for you, cool. There will be someone else. Don't stress it. Be an adult. That's it. That's, that's it. That's, the, that's my advice. Be an adult. You'll find someone. It's, it's cool. If I can get dates, you can get dates. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so like, don't stress. Like, it's all right. It's all right. Don't be a piece of shit. Like, I'm about to be right now. <laughs> like, I'm about to be right now. Um, okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> new game. Select my character. Oh, yeah, I'm Ryan. Sorry, Misha. Although, Misha rocking that. Is that red? I can't do it. I gotta be Ryan. I gotta be Ryan. Daters. Can I make my own? Yes. Name. Can I change my name? No. This is just letting me know that I'm Ryan. I'm 28. I'm six feet tall and from London. Well, if I've learned anything from TikTok, six feet tall is too short. Either you got to be like six, five or above to date anyone. That's what TikTok has told me. So to my six foot tall short kings out there, sorry, sorry, gang. Ooh, profile picture. Industry? Can I? Oh my God. <laughs> Not this one. Don't do this one. Now this might be a winner. Although is that his dog? I don't know. I don't know. This one, eh, ugly. That's an ugly picture. I don't care what anyone says. This whole like the hand here and like, I'm also holding my phone. Ugly picture, don't pick that. This kind of cute. It lets you know that he's adventurous, but you can't see his eyes. And I found out through TikTok that women need to see your eyes to know if you're lying or not. So this is the one. One eye open, one eye closed. Is he telling the truth to you? Is this his dog? I don't know. It's mysterious. Uh, am I in finance, creative, healthcare, or other? Mm, I'm gonna say I'm in healthcare because Oh, finance. I gotta say finance, because as I've learned from TikTok, women only care about money and not anything else at all. So, finance. All right. What am I into? Travel, spirituality, arts and culture, technology, partying, charity, food and drink, sports and fitness. Well, if there's anything I've learned from TikTok, uh, to be a true Sigma Gamma male, I need to be at the peak of my physical fitness. Everything else is useless if I can't punch a man in the face. All right, interest two of three. All right, my next one down, uh, as I've learned through watching copious amounts of TikTok dating advice videos, uh, charity is for the weak. Food and drink are just calories that you intake. They don't matter. Enjoying food and drink makes you a beta cuck. Partying is something you should always do, right? Then spirituality, spirituality is a lie. Uh, the only thing that matters is your relationship with Jesus Christ, is, I, I think is what I've been told. Uh, that was like, <laughs> that was a Jeremy bear me of logic loop. All right, um, arts and culture, arts and culture. Uh, no, that's for the week, that's for the week. Technology, crypto, I invest heavily in crypto, yes, yes. 
I am a Taurus. We'll just go with what I normally am. I'm a Taurus. I don't know anything about any of that other stuff, so what the hell do I care? Oh, shit. Misha, pick up the phone. Ah, oh, there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? I have had a lot of client meetings. It's been very full on. We're doing a merger at the moment. So. Are you aware how tough this doesn't sound? Thanks for the sympathy. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. No, a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. You're what telling about you? me I failed hey, the grass to start? Greener. I've got like. 80 likes but like once you filter out like the well as i've learned from tiktok the nude pics and the meh ones the top just a bit quiet five percent of men get no a hundred percent of women i have a new and every other man works. dies alone you're gonna kidnap someone i, I think that's how that works for speed dating tonight <laughs> okay why are you telling me this because i'm bricking it and like do you want to have a drink before could you just say less <laughs> It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. We're going out on a date. Going to London town. Going on the underground. Gonna get some smooching tonight. <laughs> I could have rhymed that correctly, but I didn't. Because there's Not no everyone is gonna be good. Face to face. Like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My it's internet connection is crap. Yep. What do you do here? Welcome do that all the time. Welcome to Speed Dating. My name's Derek. I'm your host. We're going to be beginning very shortly. So, gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're going to find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling <laughs> at me like that? <gasps> Ni Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling. You're like everything. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. I love Misha. Oh, I don't know who no. this asshole is. At least it's going to be a good oh, story. Oh, that's me? It's not going to be oh. a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, that's why I don't want to do it. Exactly. I can't wait. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. Hmm. Um, I think I have the same jacket as that guy. Seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. We're at a bar. Mm -mm, I'm sorry, pub. Although, would this be considered a bar in London? Are we in Soho? Oh my God, she's gonna fall for me so quickly. Watch this, watch this. Everything I know from TikTok, I'm good. Number 666. Oh, actually TikTok would tell me to avoid her at all costs. Sorry, just fixing my eyeliner. I'm Azalea. Yeah, um, TikTok would Ryan. tell me to avoid her at all costs. You look like a Ryan. No. <laughs> What do I look like then? Not sure yet. That's I not love the class. Here, is it? No. You gonna snitch? No. <laughs> I made it. Just like the kombucha poured into it. That's the uh, fermented drink, isn't it? Exactly. Looks gross. Um, I wouldn't be one to judge a book by its cover, but. It looks a bit disgusting. What approach to making a good first impression? Uh, well, it's better than lying, though, isn't it? Touche. Get on you for speaking your mind. So, the kombucha is homemade, and the goblet is homemade. 
What else is on there? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories, you make it all from scratch. Started selling my stuff online during lockdown and it grew into a full-time business. Wow, well, that's really original. Thanks. Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. What aesthetic is that? Call it what you want. I've heard hundreds of terms, kind and unkind. Hmm, what is the choice here? Learn more about job? Why? Oh, here's the thing. So one of the things I've seen on TikTok is that a lot of dating advice things are like, they, like a dude on the street walks up to a man and it's like, when you look for a woman, what are you looking for? And the man's always like, you know, if she's pretty um, and like takes care of me and stuff. And then they go to the women and the women are like, I don't know, how much money does he make? What is his job? And so my thought process is using that knowledge Am I going to ask about her job? Would I care about her job? Because that's not what I'm here for, apparently. I don't want I don't want to know about anybody's job. I just want to know if they'll like cook me a meal, right? I think that's what my mindset is. So I'm gonna ask why speed dating. Right? I think that's what I'll say. What brings you speed dating, Xavier? I'm self-employed in a company of one. So the only man I see day to day is my gecko, Anton. Big up Anton. I don't like the apps. People are very judgy on there. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I've been judged my whole life, so where I can actively remove myself from that environment, I do. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right, then. <laughs> well, then, um, what else can you tell about me? You're definitely an Earth sign. You seem quite grounded and Taurus is an Earth sign. Stable. Yeah. <laughs> I could be the most yeah. volatile person going for all you know. The fact that you're not outright denying it suggests otherwise. <laughs> Just three minutes to go, everyone. Three minutes. I know. It's going very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology, then? It gives me structure. I analyze my behavior in the context of something bigger. My main star sign is Scorpio, which I think really suits me. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know what... This is clearly a goof, so I don't know what the hell. I've never delved into it enough to know what, like, TikTok bros think about astrology stuff. I imagine they hate it, so they would move on, right? I think they would They would be like, yeah, I don't care about that. That's not for me, right? Yeah, they'd move on. Yeah, okay. And then my rising sign is a set. Oh, it's, it's, it's really awesome. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really mindful of the time. Um, so I'd like to get like to I know just don't care. each other a bit more instead of uh, astrology. Okay. Oh, here's one for you to work out. Um, what do I do for a living? I'm not claiming to be a psychic. I know, but just keep it general. Like, uh, what industry do I work in? I'm so sorry to do this, but you gleam with finance bro vibes. <sighs> Got well, me. I understand the preconceptions, uh, but I will do my best to own them. Well, you are right, I work in finance. I'm very proud of that. So you should be. Yeah. You're still a wanker. Understood. And this is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, I was wondering... No. Um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. I feel like it's been pretty even. Can you just... It really hasn't, so I want to know more about you. Fine, fire away. Um, I don't care about her type, because her type is me. Obviously. So let me ask about her tattoo. So, uh, Azalea, I have noticed you have a couple of tattoos. I do. Want to know about any of them? Choose wisely. Some stories are better than others. Uh, caravan. I don't care. I don't care about um, the pentagram. Is that a caravan? Yeah. <laughs> it's the one I lost my virginity in. Is, is that one of the better stories, or is it? Is that, a, is, that a, is, that a, is that a bad story? Better, but it's um, it's not first date friendly. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. Safe by the bell. Have a good one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you too. So far, I think it's working great. Look at how much she loves me. Oh, she's gonna be thinking about me. Oh yeah, look at her. She's gonna be thinking about me. I got her. I got her. I got her. Easy. Easy win. Easy win. Brandy rising. Oh, Brandy's gonna. Brandy's gonna be. Brandy's gonna be into me. Oh yeah, look at her. She's gonna love me. Hi there. Uh, uh, I'm Ryan. I said. 
nice. Oh, yeah. I'm Brandy. What do you do for a living? I work in finance. Long hours, big paycheck. Well, the more you put in, the more you get out. That's why I've got my side hustles. I'm a beautician, but I'm doing an online course in international relations, and I try to... Ooh, class. she's perfect! I just she's a perfect NFT, woman. Actually. Hell um, yes, NFTs! The, token, the, the digital art thing. And go. Oh, Play yeah. Money, though, isn't it? Try to end that to my bank account. Sorry if I'm quite direct about things. We just don't have a lot of time. Sure, um, can what I... What are you looking for? Oh... Okay, that is a something casual. I don't have time. Question. I don't have time for this. Question. Look, at this point, my priority is focusing on myself and just having a bit of fun. Do I look like a casual kind of girl to you? No, no, but you do have a lot going on, um, so you might only have time for something casual. I'd make time for the right person. Plus, if I was looking for casual, I'd look elsewhere. You're in a ten-minute dating thing, lady. Dis no one says diss anymore, Ryan. Right. So, do you live locally? Yeah, I bought a one bed up the road. It's top floor with an amazing view of the water. You bought a penthouse. That NFT was pretty valuable. Let me tell Where you, you Jesse hates away. all um, of this. I live in my own as well. But Flat. Ryan yeah. sees the value in her. It's a high value woman. I mean, we're covering a lot. Yeah, we are. So? I own. I own it. Yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to say that. Um, it's very difficult to get on the property ladder in London. You earned it. You work hard in an industry that pays well. Thank you, Randy. This is your three minute warning, guys. Three she wants minutes it. to go. She wants it. Just three minutes. She wants to get on Mr. Cox's wild ride. Okay, Tell let's him. move on to barn affairs. Do you like holidays? I do. Where do you go? What sort of holidays do you take? What kind are you into, though? Um, I allowed to say Oh, please, abroad. Holiday. Go for it. Abroad, I travel you won't frequently. Me again, you can't beat a beach holiday for a bit of R&R. &R. Very true. Vitamin D is essential for our well-being. Do you want a speedos guy though? No, 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 no. I am. I, um, I, I can't pull them off. Won't ask why. I, I can only afford to travel recently, so I've got a lot of places on my list. Well, what's what's the top of the list? There's more than one thing. Uh, cruise the Galapagos Islands. Meet the sloths and turtles in Costa Rica. Keep See listening. The Iguazu Falls between She Brazil seems like she wants to talk about herself a lot. I'm gonna win this. For me, it's more about experiences. You know, I'm not so much into the historical. Yeah, you just want to go do yeah, them to I, do I've them seen because new you're vapid. Well. No, I get it's it. Amazing to go to new places and see the different people and all the places that you're in operate on mm. a daily basis. So, have you been traveling alone? I like doing things my way. Do you never get bored or lonely, like having to go to dinner on your own all the time? <laughs> well, I've got my phone or tablet for entertainment and talking to people, but um, if I want less screen time. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I always keep a deck on deck. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked this one up ages ago. I think it's got, I don't know, an extra king in there somewhere. An extra king? Uh, that might come in handy. Uh, depends on the game. Okay, next question. Does body count matter? Oh, moly. I was not Yes, I, I know question. this because well, every single to... guy, every <laughs> single guy talks about this. Every single one, yes. That's all they talk about. Every dude on TikTok is like, body count matters. Every single guy. Me, I want like an old abuela who has spent her entire life banging. So by the time she gets around to me, she can make a great burrito and play with a great burrito. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. Anyway, but I know that every guy out there is like, yeah, all the TikTok bros. This is the number one thing they all say. So I got to say yes. Even though for Jesse Cox personally, it doesn't matter. But for this dude, for Ryan, 
This guy, that's all he cares about. For me, it does. Why should anyone's past have any relevance to the present? Because sex is a big deal. I think I would find it difficult to be intimate with someone. Not me. I knew that many other people had shared that same. Not me. With I'll them. take that ride to Bone Town. Got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. So, Shout out to how this did actor. my questions make you feel? There's a customer satisfaction survey. Your feedback is greatly valued. Is it actually, though? Only if it's good. It felt nice. It felt nice for you to ask me questions. Is what I'm going to say. It was nice. Nice. Yeah. That, that's a good thing. And your time is up. She wants me. She wants me. Gents. She That's wants me. What can I say? Everyone table. wants a little bit. Your date is awaiting. Everyone wants oh. a little. Wait, are you disappointed? Only because I had more questions. Would you she like my it. social media handle? Yeah. Um, or I can give mine. I never message first. At the Brandy Baby Girl. The Brandy Baby Girl. See you later, Ryan. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is, this is... I must stress. She wants it. She She's thinking about me. Oh, I got in there. This dating advice is working really well so far. Two for two, baby. Two for two. Two for two. I'm so good at this. Tony. Oh, Tony's about to warm up. To the idea of boning me. Oh, hiya. You my date now? Yeah, yeah. I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony, nice to meet you. Sorry, I've got a match tomorrow, so I've got to keep limber. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, <laughs> what is it, a sports match? Do you play locally? No, it's my job, actually. I'm a footballer. Oh, shit. Should you be out dating the night before a match? Oh, don't worry. It's fine as long as I'm in bed by 12. Don't drink. I'm an alcoholic. And don't have sex. Uh, what's your position? Reverse cowgirl. No. Um, what is your football position? What do you think? <laughs> That's a tough one. Well, just say which area of the pitch. I'll narrow it down for you. I'm not tall enough to be a goalkeeper. Attacker, please. Goalkeeper in other ways, though. I reckon that you are pretty skillful. Mm. So I'm going to say that you're up front. What, you think I want all the glory? Got a big ego. No, that's a bit of a conclusion to jump to. <laughs> I'm a defender. It's not all about goals and skills, I have, you know. Defence is just as important. You don't really win games without that, do you? Well, you do. If you've got a shit defense, how are you going to win the game? Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> do you like sports yourself? Yes, big time. Football, rugby, tennis, basketball, golf. I, I watch absolutely anything. Yeah, same. If it's on the telly, I'll watch it. Even if you don't know anything about it? Yeah, I'll pick it up as I go along. It's like watching the Olympics, isn't it? Where you become an expert in, like, some random event overnight. About yeah, I became this. an avid curling and skateboarding fan for those two weeks. <laughs> OK. <laughs> It's not your phone. Is, is this reminding me to carbload tomorrow? What are you having, Pastor? Footballer's best friend. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. So, um, how did you become a pro? I'd say my key influence was my dad. He used to take me to practices, to matches. He knew I fell in love with it and did everything to cultivate my passion. The kit, the travelling, consoling me after bad performances. <laughs> Are you close with your parents? No, no, I wanted to ask you more. We ain't got time, right, lad? Tell me. If you want to, of course. Uh, I'll say... <sighs> Boy. I'm close to both my parents because my parents sacrificed to raise me well. Uh, but maybe I should say father. I'm not going to say mother because that's some beta cuck nonsense. You don't say mother, please. 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 Um, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say both. Yeah, I'm just, I'm lucky to have a great relationship with both my parents. Um, they're both great. Yeah, they're like, they have a great relationship and they're kind of like a blueprint for the sort of person I want to be. My man is in there three for three. Let's That's go. Amazing. It's so hard to find people talk about both parents like that. Yeah, All these girls. I'm going to have, can you win with an orgy? Because that's what's happening. It is. Let's see how competitive you are. They had to cut that scene because they knew I was winning so challenge. well. Obviously, 
Fancy test of strength. I chuck weights around like toys in the gym. Okay, that's some fighting talk. How about we do an arm wrestle? Yeah, right. No, I'm kidding. Nah, go on. Yeah, I don't want to injure you before your game. Get your arm on the table, lad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Physical contact already? <laughs> she wants this. She wants oh, this. Already holding hands. <laughs> I'm just desperate. <laughs> or oh, I'm irresistible. <laughs> You've got more than that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shit. I really thought I was winning that. It was stronger than you look. Both. Look, I don't know what to say. Maybe, maybe when you go back to the gym, you need to play with some bigger toys. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. Look, if you eat your greens every day, maybe, maybe, you'll get big and strong like me. It's on now. <sighs> no, I can't box, so don't, don't start throwing punches at me. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Ooh, we're in stoppage time. <laughs> what? Football's the best sport for making analogies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy another quick challenge? Yes, yes, but what do you want to do? Well, there's conversation starters and riddles, apparently. Convenient. OK. A man looks at a painting and says, brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who's in the painting, the man or his son? What? Brothers and sisters, I have none, that man's. That man's father is my father's son. The man, I guess? Father's son. It is the man himself. That's what I was going to say, but a draw's no fun. I'll say man's son. But how do we find the answer? Oh, is it? It's folded in. Okay. More thoughts gone into this event than I gave it credit for. The man's son! Get in! Oh, God's sake! Oh. You only got that because you swapped your answer. You did. You thought the man as well. Uh, a win's a win, right? No matter how you get it, eh? And that is time, everyone. Three for three. Move on. Three to your for next three. Day. Dating strategy you works. On to that. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, it was great to meet you, Tony. This yeah. dating strategy sure is for flawless. Antonia. It's spot on, but everyone calls me Tony. Do you want to keep in touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your handle? At TN7. Tony Newton and my shirt number seven. That is some main character shit right there. Okay, I will not. Three for thing. three. That first girl, I think, wanted me the most. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. All the ladies. I'm going for full orgy ending. I'm gonna be the best at this. Also, can we just talk about how if this does work and it actually is for three for three, I'm gonna feel real goofy. <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna respond well. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. She's gonna respond real well. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan, I'm Kathleen. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze in a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, fire away. Nope, he wouldn't. He'd be like, I'm here for me. This already is working against me. Done. All yours. What are you reading? Uh, the Evolution of Bond Forming Dynamics Across the 21st Century Nerd. by Professor Gertrude von Nasselhoff. Well, it must be a pretty good read if you're sneaking in pages in between dates. Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar tomorrow. Move on. Don't care. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral Don't care. psychology. Mm. Oh, okay. So you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the opposite. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. <laughs> So the age-old work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Am I allowed to say that balance is best? No. No fence sitting one or the other. I think life is... No, work is more important. You gotta work hard. Work hard, play hard, bros! Uh, I am definitely a workaholic. Grind set uh -oh. mindset. Guess I'll be dying in the library then. 
You know, there's a theory that being a workaholic stems from a lack of trust or an inability to delegate work tasks. That's true. As one, that's true. Oh, you're serious. Uh, no, I hope not. Um, I just... <laughs> I always thought it was because I just like what oh, I do. Oh, no, that's no theory. I hope that's, that's the case, too. That's real. So, I have a confession to make. Okay, already. Everyone tells me that, for whatever reason, I haven't lived. I don't believe that. I've never been to a nightclub. Never. Oh, fourth never mind. Student, He's never gonna love her. Foot in a nightclub. I would rather spend the day in a cafe with a, yep. a book. He's gonna love her, actually. This, this is, is the game changer. This is that. Oh, this is. I've seen enough videos way. to know this guy. So you she's are number one still now. studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? Sorry, I researched good speed dating questions before tonight. And that's what you got? <laughs> it sounds a little bit Family more man. like you researched good Family job Family man is questions. where I see myself in five years. I know how this shit works. I want a happy family by then. I just want to be in a loving relationship and however many kids life blesses me with. Okay. So say life has blessed you with one child, boy or girl. Okay, boy. Uh, blessed was a bit of a lame choice of words. <laughs> no, it was sweet. Boy. Sweet. That's what every guy wants to hear on a first date. <laughs> I definitely want a boy. I am best placed to relate to them, I think. But actually, I'd probably say like 12 kids, I right? I think that's what the answer would yeah, be. Yeah, I just want a boy. But boys need both male and female influences. But he would have his mother, too. And my best friend is a woman. And so he would have a very attentive godmother. She's a little bit nuts. Um, you may meet her. She's hiding around here somewhere. Hopefully on a really bad date. Like this. <laughs> a... Question. How do I know that all of this isn't part of your PhD thesis? That all the guys here aren't just your guinea pigs? You don't. But a study at the University of Virginia found that we are more intrigued by those whose thoughts and feelings are unclear. You have a study for everything. <laughs> Is that supposed to be my key takeaway from today? Uh, I'll offer you a better one. From Professor Nosselhoff? I'll find one from the start of the book. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. When we set off on a journey, we are riddled with excitement or apprehension. Nothing in between. It's not exactly one you'd read in the toilet, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna no, engage. I'm gonna engage this. Well, I'm interested in her now. That's Nozzlehoff's opinion, but I think that apprehension is our body's way of telling us that something is worth doing, despite the risks. You know, we can actually reprogram our brains to interpret nerves as excitement. They're similar chemicals. I did that before coming tonight. Is, like, would you do that before tests as well, that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. Very helpful for tests. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Mm, brain's clever. Not mine. <laughs> Got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Well, how do you fancy spending the final minute? Why not leave that to Professor Von Nosselhop again? Let's I'll get allow a takeaway from the end of the book. I'll allow this. People only care about the end of the book. I want the answers. All right. Right now. Come on. I'm ready. Final words from the book. Everything is transient. Time, life, relationships, none belong to us. Only our purpose does. Around it, all else is determined. So the right things will enter the orbit that we create around ourselves. Is that what that means? Exactly. Every decision we make affects who's pulled into that orbit, whether we know it or not. The quote is actually really relevant to my life. I'm finally focusing on my orbit and mine alone. Thanks for listening. No problem. And I'm glad to hear you're doing that. That's your lot. Ladies and gents, time's up. Let's be moving on. This was fun, Ryan. Yes, it was. It was really great to meet you, Kathleen. So I'm not the biggest social media user, but they say that's the best way to keep in touch nowadays. Can I win from again? <laughs> Professor Von Nobles, <laughs> Who do you think I got it from? <laughs> At Kathleen Parker 88. Okay. I got it. Have a nice I've evening. already forgotten it. You too. But for real though, in my mind, even though she's like the brainy one, I've watched enough of internet bro dudes that if they don't like, 
there's this weird thing like if a girl doesn't party or a girl doesn't go out and have fun if she just stays home and like doesn't do anything apparently that's very appealing so i don't know i guess that's what i was going for there good evening i'm derek evening host hello derek Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Ah, right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician. Had a gig to get to. Well, that is pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find what you're looking for? Or... Oh, is she the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad about that because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. Well, I'm sure you made a fantastic mm. impression. Did we find someone? We found four people. We found four people. Absolutely, we found four. Not like, you know, we absolutely found four that would win. Uh, But I'm going to say not yet because the Sigma mindset grind set means that no woman can hold me down. So I'm going to say not yet. Yeah, no, I've met some great people, but I think it's just too early to tell. Speed dating is just a uh, peak curiosity rather than find love. It's just like a little teaser, isn't it? You just kind of just get to know them and just as you're getting there. It's like tapas, I like to say. <laughs> well, a little bit of everything. Love tapas, yeah. <laughs> Small lives. I do have to call you out, though, because there's some times when I'm really, the date's going well, and then just then I hear you screaming out. Give me like an extra 30 <laughs> seconds. I need to be able to give you a signal or something. <laughs> How long have you been hosting? I have lots of hosting experience, but specifically the speed deck and stuff. This dude, Just this dude, this dude wants me too. I'm, so I'm, I'm five for five at this point. I presume. Mm -hmm. Correct. For me, finding love is the most formative journey of our lives, and I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. So from these, have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. Yeah. <laughs> Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator, Derek. No, you, you really don't, because that sounds like something that would be on a t-shirt on a lad's holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts, you're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I sell like hotcakes, all right. <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Come again? Oh, sorry. Uh, what you oh, asking, please. baby? Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? Okay. Look, if this was me, you know I'd be like, everyone, let's do it. But as, as a grind set mindset man, using only TikTok data to help me here, I feel like the answer should be women, but I kind of want to be like, neither. I don't relate to anyone because no one can relate to me. No one's even on my level. <laughs> I want to be like, no one, I don't relate to anyone because everyone else is a mere mortal and I am a god. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with neither. Screw it. None of them. I relate to no one. I don't really connect with any gender, especially, to be honest. I think I just hate people. Right. Well, well done for putting yourself out there in a bar full of people. Yeah, I think, actually, here's a note for the next time. Um, no clientele at all. It just doesn't really work for me. Okay, right. Well, that's noted. I'll just make sure for the next event I'll have zero people. Yeah. Not a single soul. Just one chair in a room mm -hmm. with my name written next to it. We'll, we'll bring the orchids uh, and, and you can have a beer, but the rest... You are halfway, guys. Halfway. God. Don't tell anyone I forgot. Is that microphone on the entire time? <laughs> so tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is, there's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another person's paradise. Yeah, that is a fair point. Mm. Okay, I'll pose you this. Are you looking for someone more lively or laid back? Because that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. They're both are brilliant, but markedly different. No, I know. I know the answer to this. 
Laid back in the streets, lively in the sheets. <laughs> I definitely want someone who is dynamic and a lively personality to just spice up my life. Mm. Not to dominate, though. No. Because that can because just Because I you know, dominate thing, myself. You know, toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No? Crack of the whip. <laughs> I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was wondering, has hosting these made you an expert in romance? What, like some kind of love guru? No. <laughs> no. No, come on, you must have more insight than the average guy. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, it's still very single. Why, did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah. Misha, she would love to meet you. She's here, I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Mish is fab, but I won't be interested. It's a bit mean. What's wrong with her? Well, she's a her. This dude couldn't read. Yeah. This. Sorry. Um. No. 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 I shouldn't have assumed. Change subject. Absolutely. Change Don't subject. Totally. I know what. I know what TikTok's like. Instantly change subject. Anyway, um, it's a real shame that the the event's nearly over. Yeah, it is. You know, back in the day, you would have had to meet people, uh, you know, if you were going out or maybe at work. Not all by chance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just wondering, did you have any feedback for us? The host is too well dressed. Oh, I mean, look, come on, you were putting the rest of us to shame, please. <laughs> well, uh, aside from that. Uh, more options. More, uh, like... I don't know. Uh, if you could find, I'm trying to think of like, based on the knowledge that I have of TikTok dating advice, I need a woman who dresses provocatively, but only for me and never leaves the house only except to get groceries. But even then, she doesn't talk to any men at all. Then when she comes home, um, she spends all of her time pleasing me and raising our six kids. Uh, and I'm allowed to have all the friends I want. And what else? She's, she probably should speak less... <laughs> Seriously, Jesse, what is your For You page? Right now, my For You page is not any of that. I'll go look right now. I'll tell you what's on my For You page. This is all just like, I will randomly find things online, but and it, it, I'm obsessed with how dumb it is. Like, I can't believe people follow this advice. Anyway, my For You page right now is an ad for Play Nightingale. Um, It is... A video of a guy proposing to a girl, and then that one clip of that kid who's like, that kid with the camera, this, can you see this kid, This that guy right there, ooh, that kid, All right, and then uh, an ad for Huel, whatever the hell that is, then an ad for a video game, or not an, I guess not an ad, something for a video game, and then something from Family Guy, like a Family Guy scene, and then when you're another one of these memes where it's the two guys from Bullet Train, but it's art. And then uh, this is someone making a wrap or a pizza or some shit. And then another ad. Oh, and then this dude who reacts to food. That's my man right there. I love him. What is his name? Chef Reactions? This guy's great. I love that dude. That's my favorite. Um, And then uh, what appears to be... Something, I don't know what this is. One of those ones where it's like a person doing something at the bottom and then like a cartoon at the top. They always have those things. Uh, this one is one of those ones where it's like size comparison of a Star Wars ship to a city. Uh, and then this is Tiramisu Espresso, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I my this one is what $700,000 buys you in Uganda, I guess. So that's a thing. Um, and then I have <clears throat> John Stewart grills U.S. Senator from Oklahoma State. 
So, like, that's a thing, I guess. Love me some politics. Uh, this is Final Fantasy, a Final Fantasy 15 video of some sort. Looks like an ad. This one is someone mashing those spicy candies that you would get at, like, a bodega for some reason. Um, this one is Lord of the Rings related. I don't know what this is about. Oh, yeah, this is someone shitting on the Lord of the Rings TV show by showing what elves look like in the movie and what elves look like in the TV show, I guess. And then, uh, this is <laughs> some sort of bread thing. Can you tell I'm fat? Not a lot of sexy women on here. A lot of bread. <laughs> a lot of bread related. This guy making like a bread thing and he's gonna... <laughs> This is some sort of Lego build? Some kind of, like, cement Lego something. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, oh, and this one is Places That Don't Feel Real in the UK Part 8. Don't know what the hell that is. That's some sort of, like, travel thing. This is my For You page. Do you want to know what was on it? Uh, this is They Overhear Friends Bad-Mouthing Her Boyfriend. It's some anime meme anime memes i don't know i don't know what the hell uh then bro eliminated fall damage and it's just some guy learning how to fall properly but using a pole i guess that's pretty neat um this is an apartment in in new york and it's saying what people think two thousand dollars in new york gets you versus what it actually is so it's like a big fancy apartment and then it shows you really what two thousand dollars gets you so that's a thing um a lot of ads. A lot of ads for, for, I don't even know what. Coke and Mentos and oil? This might be the coolest thing. What is this? He's dropping the Mentos into the Coke, but it's not hitting the Coke because it hits the oil layer and stops. Fascinating. This guy got late nights. This is, this is the kind of shit I would watch if I was high right now. I would watch this like crazy. I'd be like, look at this dude. Oh, yeah, that's, that, my, that's my jam. Uh, this is Monkey King fake death scene. Oh, I probably, probably because I watched a lot of clips of the Monkey King movie. And so they're giving me a lot of Monkey King clips now. Uh, this is, uh, this is someone's Abuela. Shout out to Abuelas out there. You're the best. Uh, yeah, nothing really exciting. Oh, I got my first lady on a for you page. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, no, never mind. Never mind. This is what the video is. It's this girl trying to pose and like a just, just <laughs> Now that's my kind of video. Just the dude walks in the background. Yeah, I got my first lady. It took how long to get there, but I did it. Finally nailed it. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, I'm not like I'll show you what Crendor and I. If you want to know what Crendor and I send each other, this is why my for you page is messed up. People always ask, Jesse, what's what's your for you page like? Here you go. This is what Crendor and I send each other. This shit. Oh, that's Warp Zone. The Warp Zone boys. Um, Inbox. No one ever. The only messages I get on TikTok are letting me know that Crendor sent me a message. Uh, <laughs> Crendor. This is the kind of messages Crendor and I send each other. Um, this is this is what I sent him. Beers depends. Weekends, maybe you know, five beers. Maybe like five beers. What do you think of that? Well, that's just not uh, feasible, not in this country. Well, come on, man. Two drinks a week. What's that gonna do for you? I mean, that doesn't even get you through a day. A reasonable amount, if you're. I mean, if you're at home, you will have like uh, four beer. Four beer? That's just uh, that ain't, That's just two more. I mean, I'll have six. But four is a fair number. But there shouldn't even be guidelines anyway. Why are you gonna tell me how much I can drink at home? Two 
<laughs> All right, so that's what I sent Crendor. Crendor sent me this. <laughs> Only thing that I like better than a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit <laughs> is two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's my for you page. If you want to know what Crendor and I said each other, it's those videos. <laughs> We all we always send each other the best TikTok content. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sausage, jack and cheese, <laughs> biscuit is too sausage. All right, uh, <laughs> more options is what I wanted. Uh, you can never have too big a pool of options. True. Well, if the events grow in popularity, then the amount of people coming will increase inevitably. Well, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. No, but like that being said, I did still meet a great group of people today, so great. That is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, mm. tell me, who did you meet today? Oh, this is a test, isn't it? Who did I meet tonight? I met Kathleen. I met Azalea, I met Tony, and I met Brandy. Oh, Derek, I don't suppose you could give me any intel. Come on, just bro, I, hook me up, hook me up. No way that I could do that. Nothing personal, just, you know, just give me a read. With all your experience, come on, as a friend. I guess I could do a read. Who in particular? Oh God, I guess we only have time for one. Um, who are we? Who are we getting? Who's the information we're getting on? What are we getting? Who are we getting? Tony, right? Tony seemed to be the one that like we could get. Like Tony seemed to be the one that like Brandy. Sure, Br like here's the thing. Hold on. For me, I feel like this is the problem with this because I'm in the like how can I get this guy laid mode, but I'm not. I shouldn't be thinking about that. I should be thinking about Sigma Brain mindset. And so, uh, who was the, who was the girl who was selling NFTs? <laughs> who was the NFT girl? Brandy was NFTs? Oh, we got to know about Brandy. I want to know, what was her NFT? Yeah, we got to go with, with ba yeah, baby Brandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Tell me about Brandy. She is a force of nature, but she really just doesn't need a man. And I think you'd need to bring something very special to the table for her to even give you a shot. Just saying. So I should just pack my bags and go home and not just not- Not saying that. Well, that is very perceptive. So I think, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Okay. That's letting you know. Unfortunately, ladies and gents, is the. If end I wasn't of trying to play a goof here, safely, I would have landed this guy Derek, too. And thanks for coming. I would. I would really be five for five. I would. I would, I would again, land Derek. everyone I in this game. Be company because I would have been sat here like a melon otherwise. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I hope you had fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, Sigma grind set. I am very special, so it's sealed. I already got her. And if I wanted to, I could have had him too. Five for five. I'm five for five right now. Please, please. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, yeah, I and mean, absolutely nothing happened. I was supposed to be meeting um, for this date this musician, but she bailed. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember the host? Yeah. Yeah, Derek is his name. So I was sitting there and he came up and told me about um, the girl who had to leave. And then we sat down, we just started talking. You and Derek. <laughs> Yeah, oh God, yeah, he's I just. Love that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you saw plenty of him as well. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very, very suave. Is there chemistry with Derek? Uh, chemistry? No. It was just, he was a sound fella and it was good of him to talk to me, otherwise I wasn't just been sitting there. <laughs> yeah, no, but he was, he was a good dude. Oh. There was Brandy. Let me tell you about Brandy. My God. She was a. She would put you to shame the amount of work she would do. She is a crypto trading. Beautician, and she's studying as well. Wow, what a 
combination. I don't even know how she finds the time to do well, that's all a that. That's, that's, a, that's a red flag. That whole <laughs> thing is a red flag. I, no, I liked her. She's, she is um, planting she, red she, flags she, she everywhere. You raise, your, raise your game, you know? And your game needs to be raised. Well, so you keep telling Brandy me. Brandy is... Yeah. All there red flags. There was Kathleen, who was a PhD student studying psychology. She was very smart. She was reading on our date. She was just very smart. It was a little bit intimidating. Do you think there'll be more from Kathleen? There could be. Yeah. I mean, I kind of felt like... She wanted me, but I everyone does. Well. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, there was Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet? Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just very different, but it was really interesting. Because she wasn't wanted like me. It was any of the other dates I yeah, went yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Was there chemistry over kombucha? No. I'm just really not her type, I don't think. <laughs> if you actually saw the two of us side by side, y- y- you'd understand. You don't like kombucha anyway. Fizzy nonsense. <laughs> Aha, uh-huh. now let me tell you about Tony. She is a football player. Wow. The music wow. changed. She was just quite laid back. Um sort of Tony, who was, I like, think won this one. Get, you know? That sounds fun. Do you think there might be a future with the footballer? I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah, I could I I'd love I'd love to see her again. Aww. So, what's the next move? I don't really know. I kind of have a few options, so... Mm, Mr. Popular. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say? Um, I guess Strut. I just need to think about it a little bit. Strut your stuff. See where I go from there. On that yeah. catwalk. Proud of you. Peace. On that catwalk. Strut. Oh, never mind. Who is this? Who is this person? Oh, am I clicking? Oh, no. It's doing this on. Select your second dates. Oh, damn. All right, here we got to cut one. We got to cut one loose. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Kathleen, in theory, cut Brandy. I can't. Brandy? Look, you don't understand. Brandy is, you're right. In theory, we should all cut Brandy. We should all remove Brandy from our life completely. Brandy? He's the most toxic person who ever lived. We should all avoid our brandies. But. But. I don't know. Here's the thing. So. We had a great connection with her. And I feel like she's worth going back to. For sure. The question I have here is. You like remember I'm not playing Jesse. I'm playing guy who uses only TikTok for dating advice. So the thing is is that everything I've seen on TikTok that dudes say is like she's got to just have nothing going on for her. Like that's the best woman. The woman you want to keep around is the woman who has nothing but you in her life, which is so fucked up and one of the craziest things I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> There is just (laughs) my best advice, real advice, gentlemen, find a lady that doesn't need your ass. She wants to be with you. She wants to hang out with you, but she don't need you. She don't like need you to drive her places or like take, like she can do her own shit. She don't fucking need you around. She got her own money, her own fucking, you don't need like Brandy. Here's the thing though. Brandy (laughs) is Highly toxic in other ways. <laughs> Brandy took that thing and went way further. Right? And so in the middle, obviously, we have I mean, like, obviously, this is a selection. She is she's got her own shit. She's super fun. She has like she's got her shit figured out. Right? Like, she qualifies both Jesse Cox and Alpha Beta Sigma grind set guy completely. So she's 100 percent in. Yeah, boom, done. What is this? Seven posts. Only seven posts? Hilarious. Who's this guy? Who? Whoa, whoa, who's this guy? You taking photos with other dudes? That's my dad. What, you sleeping with your dad now? Gross, girl, gross. <laughs> Ask for a second date, yes. Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Who we who we picking? Who we picking? This is the real thing. See, 
For the goof, I want to pick the Brandy Baby Girl. But here's the thing. I also feel like... I also feel like she's the kind of girl who would give me her information just to, like, get me to follow her and has no intention of going on a date with me. You know what I mean? Like, she has that vibe, which, again, all red flags. This girl is all red flags. (laughs) So, (laughs) but part of me also wants to see the slow motion car crash that is going on dates with Brandy. (laughs) Part of, me wants to, part of me wants to know what that would be like. But here's the thing. Real Jesse Cox, ignoring the goof, I kind of dig, like, smart people are hot. And Kathleen is like, I was keeping up. At least at least Ryan was keeping up. When she would say a quote, he, like, understood it at least. So I'm not an idiot. But if there's one thing I know in life, it's that I have spent much of it ignoring red flags. <laughs> So maybe I go with the Brandy baby girl. I don't know. Uh, all right, chat. Chat has made their voice heard. Look at social media and decide. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's go to the Brandy baby girl. Only seven posts. That's crazy. Yep. So she's got that. She posted whatever the hell this is. This is a photo. Who took this photo, girl? You going out with other people? Uh, she's eaten. I mean, that's good. Yep, she definitely took that. Asked for a second date. Back. Let's go. Kathleen, what's going on with you? She took this photo. And she took a photo of a computer and book. (sighs) White girl Instagram. Why? (laughs) Woman. A white woman's Instagram. White woman. A white woman's Instagram. <laughs> That's literally what this is. Her entire thing is this. I'm like, what is this? What does this mean? Who is this? Yeah, there's a lot here. There's a backstory here. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to say what needs to be said. Look, she is posting a lot with someone, with someone who took this photo. She, a lot of red flags are popping up for my Sigma grind set. Seems like she's a liar. Seems like she's lying to me about what's going on in her past. Meanwhile, Brandy, she had the grind set mindset that I have. So I feel like, yup, yup, yup. Okay, Brandy it is. It's her dad. Well, then she's got to stop sleeping with her dad. Before I'm going to ask her out for a second date. Occupational hazard. We're going out in London. We're going to a pub. We're going to sit in the corner. And who knows what we're going to rub. Most of my dick. Most of my dick. Most of my dick. Uh Uh-oh, did she stand me up? Right, right, lad. What time do you call it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I've got a valid excuse. What happened to you? I'll tell you in a sec, out my way. She's weak. Maybe She's sick. weak. I don't like her. I'm out, I'm out. I went in for a 50-50 ball in my match today. Crunched my ankle. Was it your fault? So, by 50-50 ball, do you mean that you went in, like, two-footed? Did you go in recklessly? Or did you go... You almost went in head first, did you? Cheeky, yeah. <laughs> No, I won the ball. You should see the other girl. What, is she in two boots? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, seriously, uh, like, I, I hope it's not that bad. No, it'll be fine. And I get such lovely messages from my fans online, so that keeps my spirits up. Would you like a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah? What would you like? Beer? Yeah. Hey, barkeep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. You should always do that cheers where you cheers. And then I'd never take a drink afterwards. I've heard that's bad though. That's seven years bad sex, apparently. Cheers. So, would you say that you're quite a rough player? I prefer daring. Daring, mm. okay. Will we put that to the test? Do you want to play a game of truth or dare? It might be a good way to get to know each other. Well, only if I get to ask first. 
<laughs> True for that. Why do you get to go first? Well, look, this dare. is your average day. You don't share, you don't share stuff with women. Always it. dare. That's a fact I learned from the internet. The more you're open and allow yourself to be vulnerable to women, the more they abuse you physically and mentally. That's something, that's a fact. Everyone knows that. Women are only out to hurt men. It's true. It's true. It's true. Why do you think they live longer? That's just stats, bro. That's just stats. <laughs> Talking is beta cuck level, okay? You can talk when you're forced to lay there after you bang her, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? If you want to hit that second bang, you got to at least pretend to care. You can't kick him out your bed like you want to, bros. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesse's getting canceled by out of context clips. <laughs> You know what sucks even more is you're probably not wrong. There's going to be a clip of me saying something. It's going to end up on something. And I'm going to get messages from people that are like, you've changed, Jesse. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for that to happen. Dare. Truth is for suckers. I'm going to go with a dare. Bold. All right. I dare you to sing something out loud. Really? No one like, would walk five hundred miles and the how would walk five hundred more. Oh, the national anthem. Just to be the man my who Irish walked a thousand miles okay. to fall okay. down and no go. That song's about no, no, cucks. Okay. <laughs> Love is for losers. Put your hand your heart, I hate you. Shana Fina Fall uh, If anyone knows the words, sing along. <laughs> uh, Toff we are there We are slew. Okay, that's enough. That's all you're getting. That is all you're getting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> very, very good. <clears throat> my album's dropping soon if you do want it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Mm. I'd buy it. Perfect stocking filler for my nan. Lucky her, she can listen to that all the time on repeat. God help her. <laughs> now it's my turn for a little bit of payback. <laughs> Truth or dare? Dare, straight in. Remember Stand I'm on injured. one leg. Yeah, otherwise I'd have you cartwheeling around the bar if you weren't. I'm Damn! Done it. I, I really do believe that you would have. Oh, let me read your DMs. Ooh! Ooh! I don't know. All right. Oh, man. Read read DMs is needy as shit, but read DMs definitely things seems like something a, a like TikTok bro would do, right? Like that is that definitely seems like it, right? DMs is a sigma move. <laughs> that one hundred percent. That one hundred percent seems right. It's toxic as shit. It seems yeah. It has to be DMs. I don't want to see your secret moves. Show me your DMs. Let me read your DMs. Oh, really? I mean, most of the messages are nice and supportive, but some, some, some people are creeps. Yeah, but they're the fun ones. They're the ones I want to see. <sighs> She's doing it. She's doing it. If that wasn't so competitive. I wouldn't be. Hell yeah! Okay. How about are we talking? Here's the thing. She may be the Can one myself for this guy. Hitties? Okay, I mean... This man we've okay, created. first one is... These are all very nice. Nice. Picture of your feet, please. This guy is very keen on your feet. Is that a common thing? Do you get that a lot? Yeah, especially with football. <laughs> Weird. We... Oh, here we go. Here we go, Tony. Here are the photos. Okay, we have a guy here and he says, Your abs look great, but here are mine. And here's a picture of his abs. Oh, and you replied with... They're not all creeps. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. <laughs> Truth for that. You just don't mess about, do you? It's about creating tempo, right, lad? Life's just one Dare. training drill to you. Dare. Isn't Truth it? is for suckers. <laughs> I'm already kidding. But hurry up. Dare. Tempo, tempo, come on. <laughs> okay. Talk to me for the next 30 seconds while holding 
your orgasm face. Stone, stone cold face. He does not. Oh, I don't know. Just imagine it. So sorry. You want me to imagine sitting here in this bar that I'm having an orgasm? Oh, that's not there, isn't it? <sighs> oh, oh. Uh, here's a fact for you. The amount of people older than you never goes up. That's the stuff you think about. Mm, 30 seconds is a very long time to hold an orgasm face. Oh, I'm getting the voice too. Anything for you, Misha. Misha? Uh, she, no, um, she's, she's, uh, she's my best friend. Oh, shit! The Sigma grind has de been defeated. Anyway, what? um, shall we do... One last round. Why not? Truth. I haven't even asked you yet. It's my job to think ahead. Yeah? I've got to keep this pace up. Give me a moment. Worst I'm intimate experience. There. I want to know, I want to know your, what is it? What do I, body count. It's what I need to know from you. <laughs> got one. What is your worst intimate experience? Oh, that's actually easy. We went on a pre-season tour of Estonia and on the last night went to this club in Tallinn. I met this gorgeous local boy. No, nope, I don't want to know about this. I don't, Great I'm, dancer. I'm, no, nope, I don't want to know about, I'm being hotel. baited right now. And I'm turning in. Oh, hit me. Uh, but then the language barrier really made it one of the most dysfunctional one night stands. I've one night had. stands? Surely sex is a pretty universal you language. <laughs> To a certain extent, but when it comes to giving um, specific instructions, my mind is racing, <laughs> but I won't ask. You should um, ask, bro. To be fair to him, though, like some things that women want are it's a bit of a foreign language to all men. So, it's... did you read that on a T-shirt? Yeah, it's on the back. It's an excuse, but you know, it starts up a conversation. Your turn, right? Three, four, dare. Dare. Oh, nothing. Dare. Okay, okay. Well, there's a lot riding on this. Real one, men don't well, ever tell the like truth. A strong finish. Dare. Impress me. Let's finish with a bang. Let's do a dare. Okay, I dare you to write something on my boot. That is a dare for you too. How long do you have the boot on for? A couple of weeks, unless it gets upgraded to a cast. Okay. Um, oh boy. I, right, right. I'm trying to think. Here's the thing. The Jesse part of me is trying to override being a total piece of shit. <laughs> the Jesse part of me is like, write something nice, be supportive. But the TikTok influencer version of me is like, don't let her know you care, bro. Be rude. It's like when you stick gum in a girl's hair, she's going to think about you. Something rude. Oh, I won't look. Don't look, yeah, no looking. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you sneaking a peek? No. <laughs> Your eyes are open, close them. Okay. Penis with hair. Oh, it feels like you're drawing something. Penis with hair. Oh, God, it's gonna be a penis, isn't it? Give me a little bit of credit. I'm more inventive than that, okay? <laughs> Come on. Where is the camel? It's on my toe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> camel toe. So childish. But you gave me the idea. You said, was I drawing a penis? So I was like, <laughs> oh boy. That I was a mistake. I changed it up because I kind of was going to do that, but then <laughs> yeah. I changed it up. Oh, right. Is that is the hump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you get it. Don't look too close. <laughs> Thanks. So best of luck with that. Ow. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks good. Better than a penis, really, isn't it? <laughs> That's me. What do we have? Another alarm to carb load? No, it's my dad. I should take this. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pops. Yeah, ankle's fine. I'm just out with a friend. Uh, Noise in the background. We're, we're just out, but I've got my foot elevated. Dad, I am recovering. It's not harmful here. She said, friend, uh, you know, go deal with your dad. I don't care. Okay. All right, dad. I don't care. Okay. I'm not even. Yeah, I'll leave now. So you always shout at you like that? Only when I deserve it. I don't think anyone deserves to be shouted at like that. Well, he's right. I've got fresh injury and I, and I should be at home resting, really. Hmm. Oh, what would it do? Oh, I don't know. 
I'm not, I clearly don't have the Sigma grind set enough to know whether I would say, don't listen to your father, be your own person, or because everything I learned, I learned from TikTok, the answer would be always listen to men. I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure. I don't, I, have I reached a point of paradoxical confliction? Where, where everything I learned from TikTok, are you telling me everything I learned from TikTok is bullshit? Are you, <laughs> am I in a causality loop now? Am I in a Jeremy bear me of, of problems that I'll never solve? Oh no, this is bad news. This is, whoa, no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Um, <laughs> Learning is for betas. <laughs> oh, learning is for betas. I'm going to challenge her. You're right. You're right. Learning? I haven't read a book in 25 years. I just don't think you should stand for it. I mean, even if he's your dad, he shouldn't. Ryan, I mean, no, objectively, it's just quite abusive what he's saying to you. Hey, don't use that word. You've no idea what my dad's like, and he's not anything like that, yeah? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. No, I've just... I've got to go. I'm going to go to Lou beforehand. Sorry. Her loss. Her loss. Don't care. <laughs> it's almost like... Y'all got to go? Yeah. The wacky cool. shit I, I learned on TikTok did we'll great for 10 oh, minute no, no, dates. I, I got it. But when I'm you have to learn about a person later. more, it actually hey. seems to be quite you bad. Cheeky. Well, it's my fault we're ending early, so. Yeah, well, thank you. No worries. So, uh, are you okay getting home? Yeah, my dad's actually coming to get me. Your dad's coming here? Yeah. So he's really not gonna wanna meet me, is he? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, uh, bye. See ya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm working late tonight, but if you give me your number, I've got the next two days off. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Sure. So it's um, I seven nine seven five six seven double six zero. Got it. All right. Cool. Hit you up. Cool. She's so toxic. Oh, shit. Hey, you are right? Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm not too bad. Were you ordering drinks from him? No, I was waiting for you. I wouldn't order for someone before they arrived. Oh boy, challenge, challenge. I saw it go down. I'm not gonna let her walk all over me. Like my last date. I saw you give him your number. I wasn't born yesterday. That was my go-to fake number. Ready for situations like that. He'll be messaging a bondage shop in Soho. I wasn't born yesterday either. Man, uh, our toxicity <laughs> is perfect for so, each other. <laughs> uh, we deserve each other. Now, a bit of dating. Would you like a drink? I will. I'll just have a tonic water. Hey. Hello. Hey, uh, could we get a tonic water, please, and a beer? Thank you. Well, my week has been standard as yours. Regular hours at the salon, after hours studying, and when I can, checking the crypto markets. So this is my self-care. I absolutely. Oh my God, I hope not to disappoint. Oh, you won't. <laughs> Everything Bye. about me I'm rejects her as a person. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. I like your style. What is a good two-player game? Uh, something simple, like higher or lower, so we can still chat. I mean, we could make it more interesting, I guess. Let's go. What, like strip higher or lower? Points. One for each correct guess. First person to get three ahead wins. Great. I'm about Why to win this. Why am I this. noticing that you have made all of the rules since our speed date? Get used to it. <laughs> I'm a fair person, though. So I will give you a secret about myself for every correct guess. Fair. Can I out-toxic her? Of course I can. 
course I can. I'm the most toxic son of a bitch that ever was. You go first. Is the next card higher or lower? Seven is a tricky one. Higher. Because there's a pretty even number higher. of cards higher. And higher. Lower. Shut up. Higher. It's higher. The answer's higher. Higher. Win, you fool. You just love to see it. Secret, please. All right. Uh, secret. My love language is acts of service, and my favorite act is breakfast in bed. And by breakfast, I mean no, I do a lot of eating. The highest value card. Which means the next Out. card is lower by default. I guess lower. What? Sorry. My guess took more skill than that. So? So what, four is pretty low. Not the lowest though. Uh, higher, higher, higher. Let's go. Always higher. 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 It, 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 it has to be higher. Oh, I lost. Oh, well, now you've got a two, the lowest value card. <laughs> Which means the next card is higher <sighs> by default. I guess higher. Honestly, this is just unfair. You saw me shuffling. It's all about how the cards fall. This is a game more about luck than skill, isn't it? There's tactical risk, too. I mean, are you a lucky person? Well, I would say luck comes in many forms. It does, but generally, <laughs> do you land on your feet a lot? Yes, all the time. I'm like a cat. I got cat-like reflexes. And I lift my tail frequently to rub my ass in people's faces. I am a young man living in London with a roof over my head. I would say all of that is pretty good fortune. But what about specifics? What you've gotten versus what you wanted? That's actually a pretty good way to calculate luck. Um, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of things that I wish I'd gotten, you know, a job or, I don't know, like trivial things. Presents? <laughs> what, what, what about you? Do you have any first world problems that you wish you had a little bit more luck with? <laughs> Plenty, but they don't bother me. They're stupid. Your guess? What do we have? The last card. We are was both a nine. so terribly toxic and I love it. Favor, lower, love it. But you've still got 10 and the other honor cards, which are higher. Hi I'm only picking higher. Mm -hmm. Only higher! Because I always look up, baby. Higher. I shoot for the stars. Boom! I shoot for the stars! All right. Um, I've always had a thing for teachers. Ever since school, I always had a crush on them. Even now, I think my international relations tutor is cute. Interesting. That was a very inspiring move by you. I'll follow. Higher. Oh, she's living dangerously too. We're both. Oh my God. Toxicity, toxicity, toxicity. Or a queen. This is a real underdog story. <laughs> okay, okay, queen, queen. It doesn't get much higher than that. Higher, higher. I'm going higher. I don't give higher. a shit, higher. Oh. There's bold and they're stupid. Lower. Shit. Woo! Woo! Have you got them all right? I'm flawless, so what can I say? <laughs> you are enjoying that too much. <laughs> These instincts of yours must be pretty handy in the crypto market. They are, but I don't take risks. I respect money too much. I haven't always had it. Do you prefer to spend it on lifestyle things? And investments. I do love spending, but... Nurturing it is cool too. Yeah, I'm trying to think what my attitude is. I think balance is fairly important in this department. But if you had to choose one side or the other, spender. Are you a spender? Spender. Or a saver? Spender. I spend my money on those I value in my life. And those that I value are Bitcoin <laughs> and my newest favorite, CryptoFart.com. Well, you only live once. So while I've no responsibilities, I definitely want to enjoy what I earn. That's fair enough. I mean, you must earn a really good salary, so you have the security to enjoy it. Within reason. I mean, anyone can lose money, you know? Let's finish the game. 
so How's my score two and hers four? Man. Hmm. Obviously higher. I'm gonna go I'm I'm gonna stick with higher. I hopefully there's an achievement called high all the time. Higher. Please, 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 please be higher. Alright, hell yeah. <laughs> Get Shrek, dummy. I once threw an ex's games console out the window when Love it. I found out he was messaging other Love people. it! You're so toxic! Lower. Love it! Obvious. Oh, okay, Wendell, if you really back yourself, how about we make this interesting? We aren't stripping, Ryan. No, Brandy, get your mind out of the gutter. No, winner takes all. Fine, I'm confident. You call it. Hmm. Higher. Always higher, Ryan! Always higher. Higher. Oh! <laughs> okay, come on. Give come on, give me my crab. Press. Put it on. Screw you. <laughs> the toxicity wow. team, baby. Great game. It was, it was really something. You put in a great effort. I don't lose. It pisses me off. Okay, look, come on. It is character building. That was a joke. Fine, you won fair and square, and you probably want the prize too. I do. No, 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 no. Beating you is more than enough. Stop, or I'm leaving. I want to kiss. Pick something. I want to kiss. Well, if you had won. I mean, if you had won. You didn't, but if you had, um, I would have offered you a congratulatory kiss. Oh, would you? Toxic. In your dreams. Oh, they're so bad for... I love it. Hey. That was a really fun night. Yeah, yeah, it was. I'll give you most of the credit. It did all start with your game. I know it did. <laughs> this is where you tell me you also had a great night. I didn't. Yeah, I thought that that I've was had better implied. nights. I'm not a mind reader. You live just up the road, right? Also, she you can't can tell if I'm not 6'5 or not, so. Who's gonna get the third date? <laughs> no commentary, please. He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh, okay. Who is gonna get that date? Not the footballer. She's got. She's got. She's too busy dating her father to date me. So, oh, and the game, <laughs> the game decided for me. It was like, bro, you failed miserably. Yeah, all right, yeah. Toxic, loves toxic, baby. <laughs> Hello, Brandy, um, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, great to talk to you again. I had a blast the other night, and I was wondering if... You would be free sometime this week, maybe the weekend, um, to meet up again. Yeah? Okay, I will. Um, I will talk you then. Okay, uh, bye, Brandy. Okay, bye, Brandy. She's cool. She is cool. I, 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 was, so being cool? I was trying to be, be cool. You're so not cool. But you got another date. I did get another so date. Stronger than you, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have an incredibly nice, perfectly reasonable best friend who probably should be telling you avoid this girl at all costs. Well, I had to get the mood right. <laughs> oh, hit with a double what cheek kind of kiss. Who do they do here? Uh, they do all sorts, really. It is very eclectic, as I'm sure you will see. They do a cheese fondue. Yeah, we have to get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you want. Yes, please. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... I'm going to really let the toxicity I fly now. I would have never thought to order fondue. Well, I'm extra like that. I love extra. I still remember the first time I had fondue. In a Swiss skiing chalet overlooking a mountain range. That sounds like something out of a movie. <laughs> well, I've thought about those moments. Do you have dream things that you want? Uh, yeah. I think everyone does. Like, mm. even less materialistic people. Oh, let's share things of our dream lives. Sounds fun. Okay, let's start with the dream car. You go. Mm, I don't know much, but sports cars are always sexy. You know, fresh interior, leather seats with a bright trim, you know? What about you? You even know it down to the trim, eh? Oh, yeah, I have <laughs> goals, Ryan. You know this. Oh, yeah, me, sports car, too. I want uh, as many sports cars as possible. Um, in fact, if we could talk less about sports cars and more about big cars that are used in substitute for my penis, I think all the better. Like, the bigger the car, the bigger my penis is, I think is how that works. So, chauffeur-driven, I like to I like to ha my hands on the wheel, baby. I like to be in control. No car? Walking? What am I, European? No, 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 no. I want a sports car too, but it has to be fast. And I want it to have the butterfly wing doors at. We could race each other. Mm, I'm not so much about speed. It's more aesthetic for me. That is just because you're afraid to lose. Don't start, because I'll get competitive. Look, you know I'd win. You're so annoying. You do know I'd win, though. No, I win. <laughs> I always win. I do believe that. Yeah, yeah, as you should. Except for the one time she lost All to right. me. Next question. What would be your dream home? Architecture-wise and where? That's important because you don't want a shit view. Yeah, yeah. I want a penthouse overlooking. See, here's the thing. I don't think she wants a mansion because she doesn't seem like one of those girls. I got to play her. Right? Because all good relationships start by playing the person you're dating. You can't let them ever know who you really are. You got to just make sure you f figure out who they are so you can manipulate that and convince them to sleep with you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> penthouse overlooking mansions. Hell yeah, that's the answer. A penthouse right up in the sky of a major city with glass everywhere so during the day you can look out and you can see the buzz and then at night time you can see the lights and the fireworks on new year's eve yeah yeah it would be a perfect place for a midnight kiss. got her got her i'm sure you'd have countless women wanting to get that invite including you well you know i like top floor apartments we really are super toxic right. and perfect Let's for each other. Dive a little oh bit my deeper. god, this relationship will end what in one of us killing the other. Your dream Absolutely, partner. that's what's gonna happen. For the game, for the game, not for any other reason. I want a man who looks after himself and dresses well, but mainly someone who's ambitious and driven, who respects my hustle, but has their own. Power couple? Mm. But. The success isn't as important as the mindset. You know, we've just always got to be pushing for more together. What about you? And don't steal my answer. Or do, <laughs> if you think you can live up to it. Someone beautiful, okay. someone successful, someone um, who likes me, someone like you. Someone like you is too forward. I would never say that to her. Using my TikTok mindset, you can never let any woman ever know that you're interested in them. That's just a fact. You can't. The minute you let a woman know you like them, they now control you, bros. You can never do that. You can never, let's see, according to TikTok, you can never let a woman control you, never cry in front of a woman, never talk to a woman, never tell women the truth. Um, what else? Never, uh, I don't, I don't know. I ran out. I clearly wasn't. Oh, uh, oh, and higher. Always go higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you never want to say you like a woman. So instead, we have to say someone beautiful, someone successful, someone who loves me. Love is a fiction perpetrated by Big Valentine's Day. 
So you don't want any of that. These two are for suckers. Uh, someone successful. Here's the thing. Someone beautiful. Um, someone successful. No, I want to be the success. Beauty. It has to be beauty. I don't mean to sound superficial, but I want to be with someone who is stunning. Looks are that important to you? In terms of attraction, it's probably the most important thing. I want to be able to look at someone and just think, wow. Love is looking at someone and thinking, wow, based on more than just their appearance. I can't help what I like. Sure. Next question. Okay, uh, let's pivot. Wow. What is your dream personal project? Mm, if money didn't matter anymore, I'd get into politics. So I'm a proper techie, so I would love to develop something that would actually change the world. I have always hated the hard bit of toothpaste that forms at the spout of the tube. So in order to combat it, I was... Oh, come... Hey, it's not that shit an idea. Sorry, what? You, you just, like, fully zoned out on me there. I'm sorry if I've come across as materialistic, Ryan. See, I've come from worse than nothing. I arrived in the UK legally, in a lorry, as an asylum seeker. I was seven, all alone, and couldn't speak any English. It made things like school and social care really difficult, but eventually I taught myself. I hope this doesn't sound like a sob story. No, no, not at all. Do you remember much of your old life? Well, my home country suffered lots of civil violence, so the economy was awful. <laughs> Me and my mum lived off three loaves of bread a week, two normal ones, and one sweet one. She saved all her money for a lorry trip across the channel, but it was only enough for one person, so she sent me. You didn't have phones or anything? You, you couldn't contact her? No. I haven't heard from her since. I don't even know if she's alive. But... <laughs> I'm visiting the region next month to try and find her. I want to make the most of my opportunity in this country because I'm one of the lucky ones. Is Brandy short for something? Bishma. It means beautiful. Well, here is to you, Bishma. Thank you, Ryan. I don't even have an option here. Okay, I thought they were gonna ask me a question. I was trying to think how like, you know, I like hot weather. a TikTok like guy would relate to that. Lunch. I could be reading my magazine on the beach. What are you reading? Keeping okay. up with what's going on in the world. You know, I wanna be- Even on a holiday. So what do you have planned for the coming days? Yeah, he would be like, I don't, work, yeah. Work, uh, work. The grind just does not stop with you, does it? I don't think it's a bad thing to prioritize your work life if it makes you happy. What are you prioritizing at the moment? Work or socializing or something else? Love life, shit, shit, shit. I would know what I want to say. I know what I want to say, but I got to be on the Sigma mindset, so it has to be work life. Yeah, it has to be. But you saw her give those eyes. She was like, or something else. Jesse would have picked up on that shit and been like, right now, the only thing I'm prioritizing is you, baby. But here's the problem. That's not a sig the Sigma grind set means I got to stay on my, I got to, I got to get a high all the time. Ah! All right, there's only the grind. Well, you have kind of shamed me into prioritizing my work. No, I would never intentionally shame anyone. Oh, so okay. toxic. You have inspired me to become more career-focused. 
That's more like it. I remember the right person will always fit around your work. Not obstructive. This shit is That's working. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Ryan. Yes. I've never really felt genuine connections with people in my life. But? This feels different. <laughs> toxic plus toxic but equals not toxic. The fact that I've never been here before means I can't promise that I'll be good at it. But do you want to try, though? Yeah. But you have to be sure you want to continue this with me. No, I'm going to continue it for me. I don't deserve half effort. Oh, yeah, no. Because I go full in all the time. No. <laughs> Easy no. <laughs> no. You're all right. You're all totally correct. He'd be like, no, I prioritize myself over everyone else. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it really would be no. You're right. It would be no. <laughs> no. No. No, you don't. Um, and as amazing as you are, I don't think that I can give you 100% right now. So it's probably best not to pursue things. I knew you were a great guy. And I've been proved right. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a bit shit. But thank you for being honest with me. Just because it hasn't worked out this time, it doesn't mean you're going to be single forever. Okay, so we're well, not together. I mean, yeah, it might, but the possibility of that are slim. I mean, look, everybody ends up in a relationship eventually. There will be someone out there for you. Misha? Yeah? Thank you for making me laugh. I'm always here to make you laugh and yeah. to take you to weird events that make you really uncomfortable. I don't appreciate you for that, but I appreciate you for making me feel a bit better. At least you met new people. At least I met new people, yeah. Exactly. Did I mention the time that I moaned your name out loud in public? That many. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good night. I love go you. A, I'm gonna go run a bath. Have a bath. Go I'll... to sleep. It'll all be better in the morning. Fingers crossed. Love you too. Okay. Sleep well. Okay. Bye. Night. He shouldn't have said I love you. That's why. Oh, uh, that's why. Oh, he's so weak. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. The Sigma mindset is also forever alone. What have we learned here today? What did we learn here today? That all those dudes who are like, I grind all the time. Yeah, they do. That's for sure. Because they got nothing else going on. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's so funny. Oh, man. I almost want to try the Jesse Cox version. Where I go back in and just try to like win someone over. Did a Jesse True run? Do a true Jesse run? Alright, alright, we'll do a true Jesse run. Skip the credits. But also shout out to everyone who is in this game. Alright, skip credits. I'm about to I'm about to win win everyone's heart. Win the card game against Brandy. Feed Brandy. Oh, I didn't feed her strawberries! Whoa, damn. Interrupt Brandy twice when speed dating. Oh shit. I guess I guess I wasn't at all like as Sigma as I could have been. Damn, that's luck 100% hell yeah. My confidence was 90 though. Openness was low. Asked about the tattoos. Tony. Yeah, we had a thing going there until I was like, sorry. Derek, I could have. Derek, I could have got his ass. Jake, oh shit! Didn't even see Jake. Didn't even see Bash. Didn't even see Ty. Oh shit! You could do like a whole like. Wow. Okay. 
Hazel? I didn't even see Hazel. What the shit? There's a whole like, oh, this might be if I play as, what's her face? Oh, uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, you know what? It definitely is. If I play as Misha, probably I see Jake, Bash, Ty, Lucas, and very much like when I played as Ryan, I got Derek at the end. I could get Hazel at the end. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Escape. 